What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's our favorite time of the month when we get to do all our subscription boxes. This is Collectible Card Club Platinum Football Edition. If you all remember, you've seen it on the channel. If you've been subscribers, you know I do this every month. I love this product. It's a lot of fun. Uh, 15 modern football packs, most of which are hobby packs, um, for $46. Unfortunately, July 1st was the first time they've increased the price on their products. Um, obviously mainly due to supply and, you know, the demand for it. So they had to incre increase their price. Uh, so now this no longer costs $46 shipped. It is now 61, about 61 shipped, um, which is still not a bad price in my opinion for 15 packs. Uh, it's a fun rip. You never know what you're going to find. I mean, last month I, I didn't expect much, but, uh, we pulled this sweet big Ben auto. So that was pretty cool. Very unexpected. So that's it's just with any product, you never know what you're gonna find in the packs. You you can totally skunk out or you can pull something crazy like that. So let's hope that our luck continues this month with Collectible Card Club and uh, let's get into it. So unfortunately, like I said, all the the uh, products or most most companies nowadays have been increasing their prices. Um, Collectible Card Club being one of them. Which is unfortunate, but uh, it happens. So, let's just see what we got this month. I'm going to pull these packs out. Let's see. Or a foam. <laughs> Alright. There's all of our 15 packs. And our flyer. I'm just going to get rid of the box completely. Alright, there we go. All right, so let's see what we have. So it says here, July, um, sports is starting to come back, so let's celebrate the Independence Day by opening some cards, and hopefully you get something great, pretty much, which is cool. So we got 15 packs, which is awesome. We'll go through these real quick, but like I was saying, it's very unfortunate that a lot of the uh, repack uh, companies had to increase their prices. I get it because... Uh, they can't just be handing out lots of packs and not making any money. They're just going to end up sh shutting themselves out of business. But uh, it makes it harder for some of us, of course. Uh, but uh, we'll talk about that later. Anyways, uh, so here we have, uh, what do we got here? This is a, a blaster bot? A blaster pack of score, I think. Because it's not like a, the, the hobby of those super thick ones that come with 40 cards. And, uh, oh, here. I see it right there. H2. This is hybrid hobby. So this is the hybrid hobby pack. That's what Penny's been doing lately. I don't understand why, which I, I don't like it, but whatever. All right, here we go. 2013 SP Authentic. That's kind of cool. Haven't seen that in a hot minute. 2007 Tops Football Hobby. Hobby Edition. It's kind of cool. Maybe we'll get an Adrian Peterson rookie or something. 2008. Wow. 2008 Upper Deck. Jeez, I haven't opened this in forever. This is kind of cool. Should be a hobby pack, I believe. Yeah, it says right there, hobby. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> Old school stuff. Um, prestige hobby. That's good. 2014. 2013 contenders. I uh, have some good stories about that. When we get to the pack, we'll talk about it. Uh, some good stuff for that, though. Uh, let's see. What do we got here? Was this 2010? I like 2010. That's good. Hope we get a Tebow auto. That'd be cool. Uh, 2010 platinum football. Ooh, of course we have our 2019 Donruss, which is a great pack. Nowadays it's very expensive for Donruss. Uh, 2015 score, I believe this is hobby. Um, they didn't really print it on there, but I believe it's hobby. So 20, 2015. Uh, let's see, we'll put 2015 here. And I'll just kind of sort them by years and we'll go, we'll go in that direction. 2014 Tops uh, Football Hobby Pack. That's cool. 2014. 2013 Elite. It's pretty cool. You never know what you get in these. Nice little packs, though. Uh, a lot of 2013 stuff, it seems. Uh, we have a 2013 Strata Hobby Pack. Strata is kind of a cool product. This is a really thick pack. Maybe we might have something in there. You never know. 2013. Oh, cool. Check it out. Tops 2009. It's kind of neat. Old school, again. Uh, hobby Pack. So that's kind of neat. Uh, 2009, we don't have any other 2009s in here. Oh, we got another one of these hybrid hobby score packs from 2020. That's kind of cool. So now we have two of those. 
And then we have another pack of 2014 Prestige. So not too bad. I, I like the, the pack varieties this month. It's pretty good. Uh, we'll start with the older stuff first. 2008, 2009, 2010. And we have nothing from 2012, so it's all 2013. So we'll do it like this. I like SP Authentic. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that. And 2014... And then 2015, uh, we'll do 2019 last just because, I don't know, you never know. We'll do the 2020 after that. Alright, so here we go. Here's all our, all our packs in a pile. Let's go ahead and tilt our camera down for you all to see. Get that dust out of here. Okay, let's move on. 2007 Tops Hobby Pack. Football, of course. Uh, Adrian Peterson's a rookie in here, um, 2007, 2007, oh god, I can't think of the, uh, the other names, LT, let it, no, he wasn't, uh, I can't think of anyone else, but I know that there's others, maybe Julio Jones, I think, maybe he was 11, I can't remember, no, he was 11, okay, we'll see, uh, Jeff Saturday, that's cool, he's actually a really good player, Jeff Saturday, uh, Brian Westbrook. Okay, so you notice that there's autos on these. This is when Topps used to put the the um, auto pen or whatever you want to call it. Facsimile autograph on there. Look at that autograph with Donald Driver. Just a giant. <laughs> it's kind of cool, I guess. Kurt. Or no, that's not Kurt. That's Mark Bolger. Alright, looks like we have a insert of Brett Favre. Career passing touchdowns. That's cool. Nice little insert there. Not bad. And students work hard, get hard, get cards. Okay, some kind of a promotional thing. Uh, Jeremy Wiggins, Donovan McNabb, Sydney Rice rookie. Wow, look at that, Sydney Rice. Ah, what a what a career he would have had if he wouldn't have been so dumb. Lester Ricard. Interesting. Two rookies there. Okay, moving on. 2008 is the next year we have. So we have a 2008 Upper Deck. Find four star rookies in every pack, which is pretty cool. I can't remember the hits in this. I think it's one or two autos per box, maybe. Here's the odds, as Upper Deck loves to put on there. So there you go, star rookies, four in every one pack. Masterpiece preview cards, one and eight. Memorabilia, one and six. Star Quest cards, one and 16. I doesn't say anything about autos, but we'll see. These are, actually, if I remember, these. I think these are some of the infamous ones that like to stick together. Oh, we have a, definitely a dummy in there. Holy cow. <clears throat> so they're like, yeah, you ain't getting nothing. I'm just going to throw a giant dummy in there. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a dummy. I'm just going to set that right there because I already know. Let's see if I can get some of these to unstick a little bit. If you just be very careful and kind of just move it just a tiny bit you can get them to unstick all right let's see what we got here steve smith uh bubba franks tj let me unstick this there we go tj hauswa hazanda <laughs> Derek johnson charles woodson greg ellis Sure they're not sticking. Uh, Algie Crumpler. Ernie Sims. John Beck. Wow. It's crazy seeing some of these names. Jamal Williams. Uh, Teddy Bruschi. Bruschi. This is, uh, obviously you can tell this is one of the years that Upper Deck was allowed to print NFL cards, so they... It's kind of neat seeing an upper deck card with the NFL teams on it. Kind of fun. This is a Gaines Adams, Charles Grant, DJ Hackett, Eli Manning. It's kind of cool. A Nick Harper. And here's our first rookie, star rookie, is James Hardy. The Bills. 
Next we have a TC Ostander, Ostrander, rookie. I guess the 2008 rookie you're looking for, a Matt Forte rookie is not bad. A, another one would be Matt Ryan, the other Matt, 2008. And Dustin Keller. It's kind of a cool Matt Forte rookie card. It's kind of neat. I like that. Sweet. And then, of course, you guys all saw this. It's a dummy. Upper Deck loved to do this back then and fool you and think you got something when it's really just an advertisement. <laughs> all right. 2009 tops. I think, if I remember right, Mark Sanchez, maybe? Ah, 2009. Really have to dig in the memory banks for that one. It's been a while. 2009 tops. Okay, gonna kind of zip through these a little bit. One auto or mem per uh, box, of course. So chances of getting an auto are pretty hard. Mike Wallace rookie, that's cool. Austin Colley rookie. A Chad Ocho Cinco. I remember that guy. Donovan McNabb. Ray Rice. Trent Edwards, Isaac Bruce, and a Topps Town card of Jay Cutler. Insert card. Okay, moving right along. Here we go. We got 2010 Platinum. Alright, first up we have a Thomas Jones. Mohamed Maskawi. Matt Schaub, a Sam Bradford rookie, that's cool, I forgot he was a rookie in 2010, Sam Bradford, and behind there is a Joe Webb, I like the Sam Bradford, that's a nice little rookie there, not bad, not bad at all, okay, 2013 Contenders, I bought two boxes ever in my entire life of buying this product, I bought two hobby boxes, and they were when they were dirt cheap, probably like three or four years ago. You can get them for like 55 bucks or whatever, hobby box. Both boxes, first box I bought, I pulled a redemption for DeAndre Hopkins, got that. And then second box I bought, I got a redemption for Le'Veon Bell. So I had, I covered the best rookies in this. And they were both redemptions. The DeAndre Hopkins came in from Panini. I went to redeem the Le'Veon Bell. They contacted me shortly after uh, through email or whatever it was. And they said that that card is no longer available. I'm like, uh, how? But anyways... So they ended up giving me points for it, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Anyway, store time's over. Let's get into this. Uh, Jake Locker. So if we get a redemption, it could be one of those two. Justin Blackman. Steve Johnson. We do have an autograph. Uh, maybe. No, we don't. It's upside down. <laughs> Demaryius Thomas and Darren McFadden and Steve Johnson. So nothing in there. Nothing too exciting. 2013 Elite. Elite's awesome. They have the Passing the Twitch autographs in here. Finding one would be insane, but uh, you never know. Trent Richardson. I have that Antonio Gates. We do have something backwards here. Probably an insert, most likely. Calvin Johnson and Rob Gronkowski on the back. And we'll just do this and see what we got. It might be one of those uh, die-cut cards or whatever. Redskins, yeah, it is. There you go. Robert Griffin the third. These are kind of neat-looking cards. They're all die-cut, you can see. It's kind of cool. There you go, Antonio Gates. All right, 2013 Strata Hobby. I think it's like two autos and one mem per hobby box. And oh, we actually got a hit. Yeah, we do. Look at that right there. Cool. What the heck? It's just one card. Is this supposed to be autographed? <laughs> Did they forget to put the auto on this? Is this one of those ones that open and close or something? There is no autograph on this thing. You have received an insert card of Keenan Allen from 2013. I guess it's not autographed. Interesting. I've never seen... I know that they have these shadow box cards. They're usually autoed, but uh, that's... that's. I mean, I got a good name. Keenan Allen's a great player out of 50. I just figured it would be autographed on here. Interesting. Insert card of Keenan Allen 2013 Strata. Multidimensional. Yeah, it doesn't say autographed. Because we'd say it was signed in the presence of uh, Topps employees or something like that. Interesting. That's a pretty cool looking hit, though. I like it. 
It's definitely a thick card. Look how thick this card is. It looks like there's two cards in one pack. Like two thicker ones. There's a thick one and then the other one. That's why, I mean, there was only one one card in the whole pack. That's crazy. <laughs> That's cool, though. I like it. All right. 2013 SP Authentic. I think there's three autos per hobby box. Um, they do have, like it says, rookie patch autographs. Um, they do put the odds on the back, so that's kind of cool. Autographs, yeah, there's two per box, I guess. One in 12, I think there's 24 packs. Ooh, Shadow Art, those are cool-looking cards. Yeah, that'd be kind of neat. That one ripped easy. Oh, looks like we've got a giant dummy card in here. Good old upper deck. But here we go, we got a Chris Harper. A Vince Williams. A... Niall Davis, dummy card, and a Monty Ball and Chris Thompson. So nothing in there, just a giant dummy. So just a bunch of base cards. That's the only thing about those packs is that does happen. All right, we have 2014 Prestige Hobby Pack. So we can pull, pull a nice uh, autograph out of here or something like that. All right, here we go. Riley Cooper, Matt Ryan, Cam Newton. Ooh, nice. Prestigious Picks, Odell Beckham. That's a nice card. I like that one. Eric Ebron, rookie, and then base. So it's a good rookie there, too. It's a nice Odell. Really cool looking cards here. For sure. All right, another pack of 2014 Prestige. I think there's four hits per hobby box. It's a... Uh, Autos, four hits, uh, so they say autos or mem. Justin Houston. Julius Thomas. Ooh, we got a Taylor Luan rookie auto? Really? Sick. I'll take that. That's a PC card right there. Nice. Awesome. And a Brandon Cooks, number to 99. Just kidding. Uh, Brandon Cooks, prestigious picks. That's a cool looking card too. And a Jarvis Landry. Dang, that was a good pack. We're going to start base. So, got a nice PC card here. Extra points, not numbered. Auto of Taylor Luan. I'll take it. I will take this any day. Top this. Put the top loader on this real quick. There we go. And then the nice Brandon Cooks. Prestigious picks. That was a good card, too. All right, moving on. 2014 Tops Hobby Pack. One auto or mem per hobby box. Let's see if we can get lucky enough to find something good. All right, we have a Jermaine Gresham, Kiko Alonso, Brent Clark, Kel Selleck, uh, Zach Stacy, Brandon Myers, Alex Smith, Kendall Wright. Used to PC him like crazy. Uh, that's a pretty cool card, though. Keenan Allen Mini. That's cool. Get all the Keenan Allens. Nice card there. That's not a rookie, though. Uh, a Stone Exum and Ryan Grant rookies. Okay, moving on to 2015 score. I don't think I've ever pulled an auto out of these packs, so but they do exist according to the back. They are on here, so let's see what we can find. Apparently, there's numbered cards, too. I, mean, I don't even think I've seen a numbered card yet. Wait, is this 16? My bad. I think it's 16. Yeah, it's 16. All right, Andre Ellington, DeMarcus Ware, Donta Hightower, Eric Kendricks, Martavis Bryant, a rookie of... No, this is 15. Amari Cooper rookie. Amari Cooper, that's really cool looking. Is that like... It's like a preview card of Lux. It's kind of neat. Ooh, nice. We got a gold Tom Brady. Gold Tom Brady franchise. A gold parallel that Score likes to put in their product. It's cool. I'll take that. Behind there, we had a Richard Sherman insert, followed by Adrian Peterson. A Miles Jack rookie, and... Oh, this is 2016. Yeah, that's weird. That... This uh, Amari Cooper here, I guess it's just something they threw in there as a promotional deal, but uh, it says rookie on it, but he's 15. Miles Jack is definitely 16. 
And Malik Collins is definitely 16. So yeah, this is 2016. Sweet. All right, moving on. We have our hybrid hobby. First time opening these things. Hybrid hobby score. Um, I assume you can get all the things you can find in hobby. It's just your odds are less because they don't guarantee four autos per hobby box, and it's at a cheaper price. So, but first time opening it. So let's see what happens. All right. First up, we have a. Raekwon McMillan, Keenan Allen, Darius Geis, Latavius Murray, Jalen Ramsey. We have a numbered here of Duke Johnson out of 100. That's cool. Nice Duke Johnson. First serial numbered card of the break. A Miles Sanders breakthrough. That's cool. Need a little insert there. Justin Jefferson draft rookie. And a Bryce Perkins and Jamichael Hasty. So in this one, you're only getting two rookies per pack versus the hobby packs you're getting, I think it's like, what, six or seven? There's a whole stack of them in those things. Let's see if we can find an autograph in here. I guarantee that there has to be autos in these boxes or these packs. They have to put autos in here. Let's see. Smith, Williams, MVS, a scorecard of LaMichael Perrine. That's cool. Nice rookie there. And a Justin Herbert. That's cool. Draft card. A breakthrough of Austin Eckler and a Kenneth Murray and LaVisca Lipscomb. Khalid Kalis. Yeah, that guy. Cool. All right. 2019. Don Russ. We know the flavor with this. One auto, one man per hobby box. Some great stuff in the auto department of these packs. You never know what you're going to find. There's always, always some crazy good autographs in Donruss. Like, their checklist for autographs is insane. So you never know. Andrew Luck. LaDainian Tomlinson. Miles Jack. Lamar Jackson. John Riggins. We have a Zach Cunningham. Numbered out of 50. That's nice. Out of 50. A Jared Goff, Dominator. Not a bad card there. Pretty cool. Ooh, this is nice. A Tristan Hill rookie on the back, but a Dwayne Haskins rated rookie canvas edition. You can see the canvas texture on there. Pretty cool. Uh, definitely a nice looking card. Totally digging that. That's nice. Good rookie there. All right. Well, geez, that was... Quite the break there. A lot of good packs to open and enjoy. Huge stack of base cards. Let me check these Donruss real quick. For any um, aqueous tests. There they are. Aqueous test of any kind. Not there. Okay. All right. So huge stack of base. We have a lot of inserts as well. we'll recap all this for y'all. So here we go. Some good ones in here. Definitely the Tom Brady is a great great one there. Keenan Allen Mini, that's really cool. These really neat die-cut portrait cards. Uh, RG3, Brett Favre, insert card, that's cool. A lot of rookies, definitely a lot of rookies. Uh, nice Dwayne Haskins canvas, definitely like that one a lot. Some good 2020 rookies, nice Justin Herbert. It's a rookie, I'll definitely top load that one. LaMichael Perrine, uh, scorecard rookie. Justin Jefferson, draft rookie. It's really cool, Amari Cooper. Nice Brandon Cooks, o, uh, OBJ. Nice card there. Nice Sam Bradford rookie. A Matt Forte star rookie. That's pretty cool too. And then over here, we have two numbered cards that we managed to, to find in this break. A nice uh, Zach Cunningham. Cunningham out of 50 and a Duke Johnson out of 100. And then our hits, we found this interesting but very, very cool um, shadow box insert hit card, whatever you want to call it. It's not even a relic, it's just an insert of uh, Keenan Allen out of 50. Kind of wish it was autoed though, that would make it a little bit better, but kind of kind of cool. Uh, from 2013, Strata. And then we got this nice auto of uh, Taewon, sorry. 
Taylor Luan, I almost said Taewon Taylor. That's another Titan that's no longer a Titan. Uh, Taylor Luan, uh, rookie autograph, which actually this is my first Taylor Luan autograph, believe it or not. Cool stuff. Definitely enjoyed that break. Uh, hopefully you all did. And uh, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think of uh, the Collectible Card Club. Unfortunately, the price increased, but it's going to happen. But it's not that bad. I mean, it's you get a lot of packs. Look how many packs we just ripped and how much fun we had. So definitely check it out if you haven't. Uh, highly recommend it. But uh, like, subscribe, comment, let me know what you all think. Until next time, y'all keep on ripping.